What's up guys, it's your boy HP. Three, AKA one time in the building. I'm coming to y'all with this video and today I'm gonna to talk to y'all about progress and how it works. So stay tuned, let's go. Today I'm going to talk to y'all about progression and you know progress itself when it comes to waves. Now all of this is unedited, so all this is just going to be coming from the dome. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no piece of paper or something laying over here telling me what I'm about to get ready to say or showing me how this is going to work. It's just going to come, you know, come from the dome, man. So the 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 first thing I always want to tell waivers when it comes to progression is this is a this is not a sprint race. This is a marathon. It's going to be a while. It's not going to happen overnight. That, uh, a lot of the new waivers that are coming onto the scene, they they have they make the mistake of seeing uh, other waivers who are already elite or already have their waves on point. They didn't see the journey. So when they see that, they're thinking, man, I want to get my waves like that too. You know, and then they go and try to do it as fast as possible. And it, trust me, it does not work that way. I've, had, I've been doing this for a while. I've had multiple patterns. And with each pattern, it usually generally takes me about two, going into three years to max out that pattern to make it look really, really good. And I always dedicate the first year to pure progress, pure learning, um, learning that pattern. You know, the, the first year for me when it comes to waves is always learning the pattern, asking all the necessary questions to help me with that pattern, taking the advice in, um, learning my angles, using the right products, applying those products the way that they're supposed to be applied, applying everything the way that it's supposed to be applied, and things like that. So that first year is always dedicated to just using it as progression and learning what I need to do for my waves. Now, the key, another thing that uh, waivers need to understand is that you wanna minimize the mistakes. Now, we're all human, we're gonna make mistakes. So there's always gonna be something you're gonna do wrong, regardless if you like it or not. And that's something that I definitely want to talk to you about. Okay, so when you're making mistakes, uh, one of the things I, I see that waivers make mistakes on is going to be cutting. You're cutting their hair too low. Uh, you're always cutting your progress off. You can't progress if you're cutting the progress off. <laughs> like I always see that. It, it gets in my inbox. Like a lot of people ask me questions all the time about progression it, it may be in different forms it may be in the form of uh, I can't get my right side to wave up I can't I can't get the forks you know out I can't do this I can't do that but it's it's all solely around progression one of those things is if you're cutting your hair off if you're cutting it off too low then all the progress that you're making you just keep cutting it off and keep cutting it off so you don't want to cut your hair too low another mistake that I've seen is people becoming product junkies you know it's okay to try every product and see if it works for you but a lot of people depend on products too much. You kind of sometimes need to take that back and just not use so much different things because typically it takes about two to four weeks for an actual product to show its it's what it can do on your hair. You know what I'm saying? To show its actual results on your hair. It takes about two to four weeks. So people I'm seeing on, you know, on the wave scene are, they're using this product, they're using this product, they're using this product, and it's different products daily. And I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You're not reaping the benefits of a particular product because you're, you're doing too much at once. Another mistake that I see people doing is not learning angles and learning their pattern. Oh, man, this, ugh. This has got to be one of the most, mis the, the biggest mistake that I see far as progress is angles, learning your angles. There's so many things that I can say about this subject, but if you don't learn your pattern, which is 360, 540s, 720s, or hybrid, which is a blend or a mixture of, of any of those patterns. If you don't learn your pattern, 
learn how to you know brush your crown if you have a beehive or a swirl if you don't learn this stuff for you you have probably made the biggest mistake of a waiver at that moment because not knowing your pattern is going to go into having forks it's going to go into lost progress it's going to go into um your pattern not looking dope is going to go into you having to go back and fix a lot of things which will slow down the progress itself it's it's just just the the biggest mistake i see is people not learning their pattern they're they're trying they're brushing for what other people have and not brushing for what they want did you did you hear what i just said did you hear what i just said they're brushing for what other people have and not for what they want you you can't brush for other people what other people have you have to brush for yourself oh man oh man let me we're speaking from uh <laughs> we're speaking from <laughs> Nah, I'm not gonna do that because my boy, I know my, my homeboy 360Gz, he, he kind of does that sometimes when he goes on his rants and stuff. So I'm not gonna do something that he does, but I am mean, speaking from, you know, real wave Bible here, you know what I'm saying? So that is key, man, when it comes to pro progression is learning your angles, definitely. Another thing that really helps with progression and progressing your waves and stuff like that is taking actual advice i see a lot of people on the wave scene i just talked about this on one of the wave pages here recently and it really is it really is annoying you'll have a, a kid who will who's trying to learn they'll ask a lot of questions most people who don't know anything about the ways and want their ways to be elite and better and want them to progress fast usually you're the ones who ask the most questions these waivers are also waivers who ask a lot of questions but don't take in the actual advice what they do is they will continue to ask the question until they get what they want to hear instead of actually taking the advice and applying it and trying to figure out if it works or at least trying to manipulate the advice that they take to where it better suits them and but it nonetheless they're applying it you know what i'm saying like you need to apply the advice i actually sat here and i've actually helped the wave I, I, let me give you an example i have helped many many waivers i get inbox i probably get about 80 inboxes a day over all of my platforms 80 to 100 inboxes a day and some of them are some of the same questions of course some of them from the same people of course uh i have to screenshot what they previously asked me and previously be answering them to answering it and <laughs> just to let them know like hey you've already asked this you already asked me this i already told you there's nothing changed there's nothing different <laughs> but you'll get these waivers who will ask about 15 people and they'll be elites that they're asking they'll ask about 15 people and it'll be the same answer now typically if it's the same answer nine times out of ten no i'm probably gonna say ten out of ten it's this is a proven fact statistical fact it's going to be the right answer it's going to be something you need to go ahead and start applying i mean it's simple as that but after those 15 waivers that you ask you'll go ask number 16 the same question and they'll give you the same answer and you you won't apply it you'll still be screwing up everything and i don't get it you know you want to make sure if you're getting advice from elite waivers that you not just listen to them but you take the advice in and apply it to yourself the best way that you can uh, that is one thing that is very important so uh, you know, a lot of people think that may not go into your progress, but it does go into progress. I looked at people like, you know, 360GZ. I, I looked at people even like uh, PB. I looked at people like Sir Cruz and Nick Wavy and um, 360 Wave Process, um, Soul Seeker, rest in peace to him. You know, I looked at a lot of those waivers from back in the day and all the way up to currently now. I look at waivers and I, and I take from them, you know, like the new cats, like uh, Mr. Waveman or uh, what's some other new ones? Hurricane Henry, J. Lou, you know, a guy named Wavy Longway who's been doing it for a while. But, you know, it, it's just a lot. of I take a lot of information from a lot of waivers. I apply it to my own 
hairstyle. I apply it to my waves themselves to get the best information that I can from my, cause I still ask questions to this day myself. But when I ask these questions, I make sure I listen, I make sure I apply it. And I don't go asking like 20 other more people. So it is what it is. You just want to make sure that with that, you're doing, you're doing that. <laughs> so the last thing I can really say that's going to help out with progressing your waves is going to be time. Now, I, I talked about this a little earlier in the video where, you know, this is not a sprint race, it's a marathon. You have to give your waves time to process. You have to give them time to develop. And that, that, that's the only way that you're gonna progress. You know, a lot of the young waivers and the new waivers are looking for the overnight success, the overnight completion, the overnight fix to something, the overnight, just whatever they're looking to do everything in one day and it doesn't happen that way that is not the process of how this works and people get very very frustrated and they just quit you know they just go ahead and quit and here's the thing you have to be patient you know if you don't have any patience in the wave game you're not going to be an elite waiver you're not going to progress it's just that simple you know like i mentioned before it takes me about two to three years to get my waves to a certain level that I'm content with them. But in the back of my mind, yes, yeah, sometimes I do get that frustration, but at the same time, I know that it's a process. A process, I have to keep doing it, keep doing it. And speaking of process, while I'm wrapping this up, I do wanna let y'all know I have videos. I may put them down in the description. If not, just go through my videos on my, my YouTube. I have a process video one, a process video two, process video three. These processes show waivers what the necessary steps they need to take in the beginning to get to where they need to go. So with that being said, you know, make sure you go and look at those videos. They will definitely, definitely help you out, especially if you are beginning. Um, but that's pretty much it for the, uh, you know, how to progress your waves, the best way to progress your waves. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna head over to Quick Wave Tips. It's your boy, man. Quick Wave Tips. Today on Quick Wave Tips, we're gonna talk to y'all about conditioning your hair. Now, a lot of people say, well, why would I wanna condition my hair? Well, here's a key factor. Dealing with heat, humidity. Conditioning your health, hair helps with managing the pH levels inside of your hair. It does other things as well, far as, you know, the bounce that your hair has. It gives smoothness to your ways. It helps with the ways. I mean, conditioners are just great for your hair. Now, I'm not saying do a conditioning wash or anything like that all the time, uh, but at least try to incorporate maybe one or two conditioning washes into your journey or into your you know, method when you're washing your hair. Uh, they do come out, they do have conditioners that are incorporated with shampoos. So it's like a shampoo plus conditioner. You can use those. Uh, if it works for you, that's good. But you always wanna make sure you incorporate, especially during the hot summer, summer uh, months. So if you work in a job that consists of you doing a lot of work, uh, you sweat a lot, a lot of uh, physical labor, then you wanna get those conditioner washes in there. Um, they also do make products that are just condition based the way you can just, you know, use the product as a conditioner and things like that. But conditioning your hair is going to help you in your journey of having waves. And it's also going to help you with a lot of different things. So just incorporate it a little bit, um, with, with everything that you do, you'll be good. So it's your boy HB. Three, I'm out.